When it comes to training with resistance bands, there are basically two ways that people like to use them. One of them is by putting their muscles through repetitive concentric and eccentric contractions. This would be similar to the motion you would do during a biceps curl exercise with weights, except that the dumbbell is replaced with a resistance band as seen here. The concentric part of the exercise is when the muscle contracts or shortens while undergoing resistance. The eccentric part of the exercise is when the muscle lengthens while undergoing resistance. As you can imagine using the band with this strategy, the end of the motion is harder than the beginning. And this is due to what is known as the variable elastic resistance within the band, which simply means the more you stretch it, the more force that it supplies. The other way that people like to use the resistance band is with an isometric training strategy. And this is a really good way to use them. This is where the athletes will decide beforehand what position they want their muscles and joints to be in, and then make sure once they get there, the band has already undergone a pretty good stretch so that it can provide the desired resistance. Then all they have to do is hold the band steady for 10 to 15 seconds. Now there are advantages and disadvantages to using each of these methods. And to find out more, click the link below this video.